Hi, yeah, my name's Kevin McCoy. I'm a librarian here at Suffolk Community College. Uh, I do the systems for the library. I was also a former student. I went part-time uh, and then graduated full-time at Stony Brook. The college was founded in 59. Uh, the first year, the classes were actually in Sachem High School and there were night classes. So after the, the school closed for the K-12 students, uh, Suffolk Community College students went there. At the time, there was only one other college in Suffolk County. Uh, Adelphi had a, uh, a satellite campus in Oakdale, which eventually became Dowling College. Uh, so there was a, a tremendous need for a college that was local and uh, for students that couldn't go away. This campus was opened in 1960. It was originally a uh, TB sanitarium. So the three buildings uh, on campus that were part of the TB sanitarium that remain are uh, the Amramming Building, which used to be called the Ross Building, the Marshall Building, uh, which is now called the Creeling Building, and the NFL Building. We interviewed Al Amerman, who was the first president of the college. I uh, really did have a vision. Uh, if you look at this campus, uh, when he came here, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. Uh, he got a lot of criticism uh, for building the gym first, but he said you can have classes anywhere. You can only have gym <laughs> in a gym. Uh, so it was just interesting to see his vision and how it played out. The gym was the first building that was built. I think that was built 63 and then Almost every year a building was built. Um, started with the gym, then the Islip building, then the student center, uh, and then the buildings around the square. And then uh, the Southampton building was the last building uh, built until the Lindsay building was built just a couple of years ago. And then uh, the Vietnam era was very interesting because uh, there was a lot of protests going on in Stony Brook. There was some protests here. So it was interesting to see the different dynamics between Stony Brook and here. The Grand Campus started in 1974. That was also previously an institution that was part of Pilgrim State. Um, what happened here at the Ammerman campus was it was TB and with the uh, uh, antibiotics and whatnot, there was less need for a TB sanitarium. Um, Pilgrim State, there were closing buildings, so there was uh, buildings available. And the Eastern Campus? In uh, 1978, I believe. Uh, and that was the only campus that started from scratch. Uh, and again, that was in the middle of the Pine Barrens. There was some controversy when that was built. A lot of the environmentalists were upset that they were building something right in the middle of the Pine Barrens that, were, that was protected land, but the county owned it, so it was inexpensive. Uh, it's a great spot. Uh, uh, there's always worry that young people are moving away, and they are moving away. And there's studies saying that, that students that go to school uh, attend college on Long Island, tend to stay on Long Island. I don't have the jacket anymore, but uh, I used to have a Suffolk jacket when I walked, walked around town or went shopping. Uh, a lot of students approached, a lot of parents approached, and they talked about how much it changed my life or changed their life. It really is, like I said, a community, and we try to be part of the community. Uh, so I think the legacy is, is you have these students come in here. Uh, not everyone succeeds, but there's a lot of students that something clicks and they go on to do great things. Mm -hmm.